Hello everyone, my name is Hubert and welcome to Teach Me channel. Today we'll be looking at GCSE Biology Cardiovascular Disease. So previously we've been looking at uh, various components of cardiovascular systems such as blood vessels and the heart itself and how it all connects up. However, today we'll be looking at what happens when cardiovascular system goes wrong i.e. cardiovascular disease. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, what is cardiovascular disease? Now, cardiovascular disease is a term that covers diseases to do with the heart and diseases to do with the blood vessels. It's a big term that actually contains quite a few diseases. So, it's a general term, but there are a few diseases that are classified as cardiovascular diseases. Now, where does this word come from? Well, cardio is essentially heart. Cardio means heart. And then vascular means blood vessels, to do with blood vessels. And here we can see how the term comes about. Cardiovascular disease. A disease of heart or blood vessels. That's essentially what it is. Now, one of the major uh, diseases that come under the category of cardiovascular disease is a disease called coronary heart disease, coronary artery di heart disease. So that disease is to do with coronary artery. Basically when coronary artery, what coronary artery does is it supplies blood to the heart, right? The heart supplies blood to everything else. It pumps blood around our entire body, but the heart needs energy to do that too. The heart, the cardiac muscles need energy. So they need oxygen to be able to function. So coronary artery actually supplies blood to the heart itself. So when coronary artery, for whatever reason, gets blocked, then we have coronary heart disease. It's a very dangerous disease where Oxygen does not reach the cardiac muscle and the cardiac uh, cells die, leading to cardiac infarction, which is a term where, uh, which means death of cardiac muscle cells. And the heart essentially starts dying and stops functioning correctly. So that's a very dangerous disease. However, there are two, at least two ways we can deal with this that we'll be discussing today. Uh, in the next video, we'll be discussing some more different treatments of heart diseases. But for today, we'll be discussing two treatments, stents and statins. Now, what are stents? Right here. Stent is a, it's like a circular tube that you enter into the coronary artery to keep it open. So here we have a normal coronary artery, very healthy normal coronary artery. And then here, that yellow, that yellow bump there, that's uh, fat deposits. Fat deposits start growing and they start blocking the coronary artery. Now what we can do here is we insert stent, a tube that goes inside the coronary artery that pushes the fat uh, blockage, the fat bump, it pushes it into the artery wall whilst it making sure that the artery, the lumen of the artery, the inside of it stays open and allows the blood to pass freely. And as with most treatments, there are advantages and disadvantages that you guys need to know. So what are the advantages of stents? First of all, stents are effective. So they are effective and they are durable. So they work quite well. They physically open up these uh, vessels, so they work quite well. And they are durable. They can last for a very long time. So once it's in, it's working nicely. So that's a very good thing. And also quick recovery from the surgery. It's often performed via keyhole surgeries and things like that. So the recovery from that surgery is actually remarkably quick, considering that we are getting so close to the heart. However, there are disadvantages as well. Since it involves surgery, anything that involves surgery is subject to surgery hazards. 
Of course, uh, since uh, the surgery is happening so close to the heart, there's a risk of bleeding out and there is a risk of infections and things like that. Surgery complications. It's a big procedure, so of course there are some risks involved. And also, another thing is thrombosis. Because the stent is made from plastic or metal or some material that is not natural, what happens is it's harder for the red blood cells to pass the stent. So there's a higher risk of blood clotting. And a blood clot is called thrombus. And the condition that arises from that blood clot blocking the blood uh, flow is called thrombosis. So thrombosis is a risk here. And often these patients might have to take blood thinning drugs such as warfarin. So this is so these are the disadvantages of stents. Now, another treatment that often would be used in conjunction with stents are statins. They are a class of drugs that help us deal with the cholesterol problems. They reduce the LDL, the low density lipoproteins, the reduce the bad cholesterol, whereas they also increase HDL, which is the good cholesterol. And in that way, of course, statins are helping to prevent any further problems with coronary heart disease and any pre-existing problems from getting worse. Also, statins are thought to prevent uh, many diseases in the cardiovascular disease spectrum and some even outside. So those are the advantages of statins. Also, I suppose one advantage here compared to stents is that statins do not involve surgery. That uh, Statins are a pharmacological treatment. However, the disadvantages are that it's a long-term drug. So, we ne- uh, so a patient needs to take statins probably for, for the rest of their life or definitely for the rest of the duration of the disease. And, uh, of course, it's not, it's not great that you have to take those statins for so long. And what comes with that is that statins require adherence. They are a pharmacological drug that is administered essentially by the patient themselves because you essentially swallow a pill. So what, what comes with that is that it's down to patient to stick to the treatment, to not forget those uh, pills or to just um, mix up the dosage. So of course there could be issues with patients um, adhering to the prescribed treatment. Also, side effects are an issue for statin. Uh, Common side effects of uh, taking statins is a headache. That's a common complaint, but also more serious side effects could be happening such as kidney failure, etc. And statins are not instant. Because they modify cholesterol level, you you will not feel a difference straight away after taking a single pill. It requires patient to take those pills for a while before those cholesterol levels start changing. It's not an instant treatment like stents, which are an instant surgical treatment. Okay, so this is it for today for cardiovascular diseases. Thank you very much for listening. I really appreciate when you guys watch my videos. This is why I love doing this. I really do. And uh, if you want to stay up to date on some more videos like this on um, biology, maths, uh, chemistry, and some biomedical sciences and physics, hit the subscribe button below. Don't be shy. And if you think this video helped you, give me a thumbs up. Thank you again very much for watching and see you next time.